Yo guys, welcome back to your PCO Vivid Voltage video. Today, guys, we're going to be taking a look at my B Stack Attacka deck. Yes, Stack Attacka. Now, Stack Attacka is, you know, it's a pretty cool card. It does have a really strong ability where if your opponent has three or fewer prizes remaining, this Pokemon's maximum HP is 200. And then it has, of course, the top down attack, which is 110 damage, and the flip a coin to get tails. Discard the top card of your opponent's deck. So, of course, one of the main cards in the deck to power this guy up is going to be with B, because there's no B string anymore. So, we're going to use B to power it up instead um now i am using cards like lucario v um and sir fetched here in the early game we can give up two prizes with these two cards and then of course stack attack can maybe come in if they take another prize on like a drachi or another stack and then we get that wall of stone activated that is why these uh these are in here lucario v is a nice backup attacker to have or sphere is pretty cool too it's a pretty simple b engine deck um but yeah we're gonna be trying to make this card work unfortunately it only does 110 damage but it is still pretty fun to play. Sometimes you can even deck people out with top down. So before we get the video, guys, of course, shout out to the sponsor, Car Cabin TCG. As always, guys, if you're ever looking for any PDC Joe pack codes, get them over at Car Cabin. Guys, Car Cabin is selling codes online for the cheapest. So if you're looking to get any vivid voltage codes, or if you're looking for any Sword and Shield codes, Rebel Clash codes, Dark Place codes, get them over there. If you're also looking for a specific GX or promo code, maybe a pre release kit code, or you want to get the Dedenne Trainer 2 kit or the ADP Zation Battle Kit code. Get them over at Card Cabin, guys. If you do happen to get any codes at Card Cabin TCG at the checkout, you guys can use my discount code, code LDF, for a 5% discount on your purchase at the checkout. Helps the channel, helps out, and helps out Card Cabin, too. So shout out to Card Cabin, guys. Check them out, and yeah, use code LDF if you get any codes. All right, let's take a look at the list here. So this is a list I'm rocking. Again, I am playing stuff like Lucario and Sir Fetch in the early game to uh, have a nice early game attacker, and it can give up two prizes, which will then speed up the process going to stack up, because this deck probably can't win if you just go with four stack attackers because you don't really have enough energy to build up you like in theory if you were to just go six stack attackers in one game um that won't work because you just don't have enough energy and bees to make that work so we're actually just gonna be playing the lucario so use lucario in the early game it gives up two prizes when it goes down and then we give up another prize and then stack his ability activates and that's when we try to use stack attacker mostly that's why um i am playing the two v's galarian sir fetched and lucario i think they're both pretty decent in here i would maybe try to maybe play a second lucario if you could uh but other than that i'm liking it pretty straightforward b list too i got the gurus to put an energy on top of the deck for b i got jirachi in the deck to start with eldegoss dene crobat straightforward stuff they've seen a lot of b decks uh, going to the items now we got great ball quick ball great catcher and three boss for like the gust options then i got the rod to get some stuff back um, especially if you end up losing some pokemon with b of course sometimes you discard to dene or eldegoss and you're like oh i need those back let's rob them back in the deck um, got four switch in the deck to be able to switch obviously four bees four marnies um you maybe want to play a second like a couple bird keepers that's another card you could put in here is like a few bird keepers i'm playing three air balloons though which we can use with something like a ranguru jirachi and even lucario and Surfetch to retreat them but i also have three cape of toughnesses to put on lucario and Surfetch also to give them more hp and of course with stack attacka you then get 250 hp with the cape on and then with like a stone energy you get 270 hp so that makes you like as much hp as like a tag team that's why the capes are in there two captures four stones 10 fighting that's it for the list uh let's go try it out see if we can win some games with b and stack attack let's see how this goes all right guys let's get into our first game with stack here we'll see how we do we do get to go first not ideal we do want to go second with this deck but ooh, got a pretty banging hand lots of pokemon double guru pretty good stuff We'll start Lucario's, of course, we could do Aura Sphere turn one. We'll see what they're playing against. Uh, no, okay, it's a Welder deck. Sure thing. Uh, we'll get... Daka, I guess? Or, uh, maybe actually Drachi would have been better. It's fine, though. Let's see what we get here. Another Energy. I'm gonna bench their Fetched and Pass. Uh, they do get to go first, which is, or second, so they get that turn one flare starter. And they actually open with the Volk, so they just have the nuts. But uh, we have a Marnie, so we can try to Marnie. We can do Aura Sphere. Hopefully we can get into a beatdown smash before this thing gets knocked out. That'd be good. I don't mind getting damage on this thing, too, on the Volk, because Stack actually can't one-shot it. They can't one-shot me either, but we can't one-shot them. So having the Aura Sphere is actually pretty good. Let's see what kind of Welder deck they're playing. Is it Charizard? Ooh, they do get a Cram. Ooh, now I wish I didn't get rid of the Guru. We have Ornay Rod, though, but still... It's kind of awkward. We could put a cape on either. I guess we could put a cape on Guru or Staka. Then it won't get knocked out. The cram is actually kind of a problem. So we actually what we have to do is we Aura Sphere for 40. And then we need to We put 20 on this cram so that it can get. No, but Sir Fetch doesn't knock it out. Right? 200? No. Yo, this cram's insane, bro. It's got enough HP to take a hit from my boys. That's not good. 
Right, this is Marnie here. Hopefully we get some good stuff to work with. Right, we got some bees. We also got the cape. Got the cape. I actually, honestly, caping the guru here doesn't sound like a bad... I'm gonna do it. I don't even care. Bro, I don't want my guru to get knocked out. <laughs> uh, another energy. Alright, cool. There's Aura Sphere. Don't need a damage draw. She's probably scoop up net, so... This cram's kind of tanky, though. I 180 HP. If they attack with Volk, though, we can put more damage. I think if we hit it one more time, we can knock it out with Surfetched. But then this guy gets knocked. We can beat it with Surfetched. We need an air balloon or a switch out ASAP. We need, like, a switch out very, very soon. Like, we need one very soon. Quick ball. Let's see what they get here with this quick ball. Probably a Dedenne, I'm guessing. Dedenne is good, though. You know, it's an easy, great catcher target. But, yeah. This Cramorant is kind of bad. I mean, the, the Rushy's art is bad, too, because we can't two-shot it with top-down. This doesn't do enough damage, bro. Wish Dianse was still in the format. Dianse would make this deck a lot better, hands down. Dianse would improve this deck greatly. Even having Dianse right now, hitting this thing for 62 shot, and it would be amazing. It sucks that Dianse had to rotate. Okay, they're going to build with the Rushy's art, which is bad. Ugh, so maybe just Aura Sphere again. We could try to go for a boss, actually, and hit this thing for 180, which I actually think might not be a bad play. But we'd have to lose... Uh, we'd have to lose a B if we do that. I don't know if it's worth it. Maybe I just... Maybe I just... Honestly, I just do B. Um, I don't know. They switch to Jirachi. Okay, they don't attack me this turn. That's fine. I They're always gonna knock me out, though, with Flare Strike. Oh, maybe we could cape the Lucario, actually. So that we can not get one shot by Flare Strike. That actually might have been the better play. I just cape the Guru because I just don't want Guru to get sniped. And the like, Guru's actually good, but... Actually, we should have put the cape on Lucario. I didn't really realize, but I also didn't expect a Reshizard to come down, but I should have expected. I thought they were playing, like, Tennis Scorch, though. But yeah, we actually should put a cape on. I mean, if they hit me with Volk, it literally doesn't matter. So the cape actually is kind of irrelevant anyways, because they'll probably just hit me with Volk. Let's see what they decide to go for. We can't knock out the Volk. I don't know if we even... I don't know if I want to... I don't know what I want to do. I don't want to beat down Smash it. It kind of feels like a waste, especially the chance of energy. We could put the energy in the Sir Fetch, so that Sir Fetch can take a hit from... Flare Strike, which actually isn't bad. Well, we put it on, then we can put another stone, and then maybe find Cape 2. The Goon Pink. No, dude! That knocks me out! No! Oh my god, this guy has the nuts! This guy has the nuts, bro. He just has everything. Oh, my math was even more off. Now we're gonna have to switch out into Sur Surfetched here. Oh my god. Ooh, this is so bad. <laughs> we're probably gonna lose this game. We're not, not off to a good start. <laughs> That's for sure. All right, Rainbow Rare B. Okay, we got the energy. We just need a switch here. Switch would be great. They're going to still knock me out, though, but... What can you do? Didn't get a switch. No, we did. Okay. We're going to get knocked out, though, but then we can try to knock him out top down if we can pull off another B combo. So, yeah, we're going to have to go for that. Well, we, now we had to play the Dedenne. No, we just lose. And then they just cram me, right? Okay, we lost. It doesn't matter. They can they can knock me out. Yeah, it doesn't matter. They just... If they didn't knock me Lucario there, maybe we would have been in a better spot right now, but... Yeah, I, I, didn't, I didn't see the goon. And uh, yeah, we lost because we had to go to Dedenne. Maybe we could have went Crowbat instead of Dedenne, but then we wouldn't have drawn as many cards. And we wouldn't have gotten the switch. Actually, I think the switch would have been... I think we would have whipped the switch if we went Crowbat there. Cram, though, bro. It's too OP, dude. It's got too much. It's too much, bro. Yeah, we're definitely going to lose this. Unless we get, like, 27 coin flips off of a top down. Maybe they don't attack me here. Maybe that could happen. But no, we definitely lost this. If they did not get my Lucario there, maybe we stood a chance. But the double blaze doing ping out of nowhere. I don't know. Just the format's too fast for some of these decks to keep up with. And there's uh, nothing I can do about that. Now I wish I did cape Lucario. But even if I did, they would have just hit it with Volcanion. But I definitely... Because now the cape got wasted on a Guru when I could have saved a Lucario. Because I think we'd always have to play Dedenne there and Dedenne always would have been knocked out. So we should have just saved the cape. Because the Cram probably always chases Dedenne. So, yeah, we definitely just lost. If we had another Stone Energy on Surfetched, we could take a hit here, which is really good. But then we can't attack next turn without the B to this guy. So it's definitely game over. Maybe they'll actually... I mean, they can cram me this turn, which I'd actually... No, they're just going to outrage, yeah. Not much we can do. They do enough damage. <sighs> they just popped off, guys. There's nothing we can do about that. They just had an insane start, and it is game over. There is nothing we can do to prevent my opponent from winning, unfortunately. We're going to have a pretty good B here from the looks of it. If only we played a stamp. But not even that would work because the cram's already powered up. 
Um, okay, I don't even know why I did that, because we're already guaranteed the energy. Oh, one, we can't even attack them. All right, great. We didn't even get a switch either, I just realized. All right, this is over, bro. They just, they had the nuts, bro. They just had the nuts. And they went second, which didn't help either. All right, guys, get another match here. I think we've ran into ADP. I'm just taking a wild guess. You know why? Because they have a metal and Drake and Deck. What else is it gonna be? Maybe they're playing Tina Chomp Roxy. Or Tina Chomp with like Jirachi in it. It's definitely ADP. Unfortunately, ADP has become super easy to obtain. I'm sure a lot of people got that thing for Christmas too. That's probably why there's an influx of ADP on the ladder, because everybody and their mom got that ADP station thing for Christmas. This is the best it's the best Pokemon product to buy, honestly. It probably is. It's like the best product you can buy right now. Um let's see what we get here. Oh. Yo, Onyx, bro, wait, yo. No, it's not ADP. I'm not getting scammed, am I? You got the draw. We can switch into Drachi, which... Yeah, I definitely do. Let's see. We get Guru, Quick Ball. Ooh, they're all pretty good. So we can wait to do... Uh, we, we, we can wait to do the Quick Ball next turn. So that seems good. We'll chill out. Not a bad start. Uh, we just need a switching card here. So we're probably going to go B on the Staka. Knock out this thing and maybe mill them. And then what we can do is like... We need to get a switch. We're probably going to have to go B with the Dene or Crobat next turn. We have a Rony Rod, so if we discard any Pokemon off of B, we can guarantee Pokemon. So, so we have double Quick Ball to work with. So we can maybe go, like, Crobat and a Dene. We'll see. I mean, if we're playing against ADP, we don't want to bench either, but we'll see. Is it ADP, bro? There's no way it's not. I mean, I guess... Why would they play between Steelix, though? They have two Onix? Oh, is this, like, Steelix Nessa? Oh, Steelix Ultra Beast. What Ultra Beast has a four tree cost? Well, battle the rogues. <laughs> Something that Staka can probably beat. <laughs> a little bit easier. Alright. How are we doing this? We'll play this first. We shuffle. A. Hey, Alright, let's go. Now I think we just go... We'll shuffle the deck, so we'll play the quick ball. I think we're just going to get it to Dene. We're just going to probably Dene change here. Never mind, it's not in the deck. We'll just get the Crobat. We'll shuffle the deck. Play the B. Two energy. All right. So we get to save the energy for later. How many Pokemon do we get rid of? We got our Drachi. I don't need to play that then. We'll switch. Drop the Crobat. Can we get another fighting Pokemon? Another Staka? Hey, your boy. And we got a switch for next turn. Pretty good. Put that on top. And let's see what we get here. B again? Yo, busted. All right, here we go. We can knock him out. Thankfully, it does enough damage. How many heads are we going to get? Yo, Staka, what are you doing, bro? You're supposed to get... You're supposed to get 46 heads, bro. You gotta deck him. I maybe should have put the cape on. Actually, stack is pretty bulky in this matchup. We put a... Well, we're down two stones now. But if we ever get a stone and cape on in the late game, we actually have 270 HP, which makes the Steelix have to do 300 damage every time. That's good. We'll see. Do they have any supporters or anything now? We got the Negandal. But what Ultra Beast has a three retreat cost? I guess there's... Well, got four retreat costs. Right? Is there a Guzzlord? Oh. I'm so dumb. I'm playing an Ultra Beast with a 4 Retreat cost. Yo, I, why don't I think before I do this stuff? Yo, this, oh, the, the catcher? The catcher? Probably ringing my guru. What does this do? It does have resistance, so we actually... Ooh, we don't two-shot it. Yeah, we actually have to three-shot this thing. Okay, it can't one-shot me, though, which is good. So count your prizes. Put them... Okay. Oh, their hand is huge. Can we Marnie them this turn? That's my question. I don't know if we can. We'll see. Yo, Marnie one time. Another stone energy is good, though. Marnie. Hey! Yo, we actually got it. Yo, say it ain't so, bro. All right, we'll Marnie them. They do have Nagandel, so they're still going to be able to draw a card. So it's not that... In it's not. But we got rid of their massive hand. We didn't get a B, though. That's unfortunate. We can bench the other Ranguru here, so we can get another, an extra card. What's it going to be? Another energy. All right, don't need it. All right, here we go. Top down. Hopefully, we can survive the turn here. Can we get heads? No, dude. Stop getting tails, bro. What is this? Staka, you're supposed to get heads. Because it's actually really good if we can mill some of their Pokemon. They run. They, they may run out of Pokemon if we keep milling. But, unfortunately, we can't get heads off of top down. So, I'm hoping Staka lives. If Staka gets knocked out, we have another one to go with. But, it's annoying if it does. We have 160 HP right now, though. So, we actually... They have to do 200 to kill me. So, they have to do a lot of damage. This thing also can't retreat. But, they can do Power Cyclone. Put the energy on this. Which is kind of scary. I like the idea, though. I mean, obviously, Steelix Nessa is kind of, like, the main way you could play it. But this Ultra Beast idea ain't too shabby either. Oh, they're actually not going to attack me. Oh, they can Venom Shot, I guess. But they can't knock much out, right? 
Oh, here we go. Unless we get a... Right, I'm not going to get a B... Or we're not going to play B fight. Okay, we get a Marnie. I'm not going to play that. I'm just going to hit them. They didn't do anything last turn. So we're going to attack them. Bro, what? Oh, stop, stop getting tails, dude. What is this? Okay, the nice thing is now if we ever go Lucario in the late game, we can knock this thing out on the bench. That's pretty good. Okay, Guzzlord and Stack Attacka. Okay. Can they knock me out? Do they have a switch DC or Twin Energy, whatever it's called? It's so unfortunate, though. I can't I can't seem to uh, get a heads on top down, bro. I mean, we could deck him. That, this, is a, this is a match where we could maybe deck my opponent. I don't know if they play Brock. They definitely play... They probably play at least two rods minimum. I feel like you'd have to play two rods in a deck like this. Because with the Nessa build, you don't have to play rods, so I don't know. It's so unfortunate that we can't seem to get heads on top down, bro. Looks like they do have the energy. Do they have a switch? If they knock me out, it's going to suck. Because we can't knock them. I really hope they don't kill me here. Okay, cool. Uh, now we can Marnie. I'm going to hold the hand. I'm not going to put anything on top of the deck. We're just going to go Marnie again. There's a stack. Uh, we got a Great Catcher. Actually, Great Catcher in the Gandal isn't the worst thing. But then they... Well, we're going to knock him out anyways, right? So it doesn't matter. I kind of like that. I like Great Catcher in here. Boss. We can Great Catcher. We Great Ball Boss. Because again, we can always knock this thing out with an Aura Sphere. So it's not that big of a deal. We find a B. Oh yeah, Marnie. That's right. All right, all right. Here we go. Top down. There we go. One heads on it. Oh, not bad actually. I'll take it. It's one less steel he has to work with. So we can venom shot me this turn, but then we knock him out, which is kind of the idea. And this is why this thing can always get finished off by Lucario, right? Yeah. Maybe he whiffs a triple this turn too. That'd be pretty good. There's this stack attack. <laughs> the battle of the stack attackers, sort of. So he's probably looking for a triple here, and also I guess Pokemon. We did just put stuff at the bottom of the deck, though. I think, right? Is these is Ultra Space still in the format? It is not, right? Yeah, Ultra Space rotated, dude. Right? Did Ultra Space? I feel like Ultra Space is still in the format. No, it isn't. Right? No, okay. It did. Oh no, no, yeah, it did rotate. Ultra Space would be so good in this deck if it was still in the format. I'm pretty sure it rotated. That make this deck. I actually I like the idea though. Ooh, looks like he will go for the knockout here again. He has to do 200 damage next to the stones. If we had Cape on, he would have had to do more. Okay, does have the knockout. Let's see. Okay. He has a lot. Ooh, this is a lot of Pokemon though. So it's good. Venom Shock and one shot me. But once we get into a top down mode, we're chilling. Uh, we'll do this first. Take the boss. I'm gonna knock it as Naganadel here, make it hard for him to uh, draw cards. Because, like, it's unlikely he has more Pokemon in his hand to knock me out. And if he does, I don't know, we can try to get a B next turn. Yeah, let's we'll make it hard on him. We should get a Deden at the prize, would be pretty good. How many heads? Yo, one heads? Ooh, an energy. Not bad. Now I'm glad I went for that, because he could have had a switch and then he could have a Venom Shot. There's Deden. All right, cool. We are down. Oh, we're down two Bs. That's not good. He has a five card. What are the chances he knocks me out? We oh, might have a Pokey Kid. Or a Pokey Kid. No, Pokemania! That's what I meant to say. He has done a lot of Pokemon. Look at his discard. There's a lot of Pokemon in there. Does he even have enough Pokemon? No, dude. Alright. We're gonna go Lucario V then. Because we can go hit this for 40, knock this thing out. Well, if it is Lucario in the deck, I actually can't remember. Kek W. Hmm. I can't remember. Pumping Fall. Will it uh, knock me out? Yep. So. He is running out of Pokemon, though. That is one thing we gotta know. And once... Now, what... Ugh, I wish we weren't using our stack so early, though. Do we even have a rod anymore? We do. Okay, we definitely need that at some point. We're gonna go Lucario this turn. We're gonna go, I guess, Marnie Lucario. Much energy. We got six fighting. Not the most amazing chances in the world. Put the Denny on top. Look at that. We are going to Marnie because I do want to try to get into a B next turn. Mm, got Eldegoss. It's good to see. We can hit this thing twice with Lucario. And we can set up a play where we potentially... Uh, I'll take this. We can set up a play where we potentially knock it out one hit with top down. Double Guru is kind of epic because we can put this on top of the deck. Get the energy. Then we can go... We can play another Air Balloon actually just in case he Marnies me. I don't know. Anyways, here we go. Knock out this thing. Boom. Perfect damage, and what are we getting? Oh, we had a B prize. Look at that. More energy. All right. 
not I, well actually no we have double guru right no it won't work <laughs> all right let's see can he even ko me this turn he doesn't have any naganadel set up at this point so it's pretty unlikely he knocks me out and if he does we have a 200 hp stacker that could also get a cape on it right cape still in there yeah both are capes maybe we should play more capes because it works with lucario we used to take one prize and we win I guess, actually, what we could do is we could Air Balloon the active, B to the Staka. No, we can't knock him out. Oh, he is going to go for Fion. I think we'll feed him the Oranguru, obviously. Oh, he's not going to play it. All right. So we can just go for the B here, I think. What's it going to be? No, dude, not energy. All right. Looks like we got to do it. Oh, there's Sir Fetch. Ooh, last boss is gone. So we can top down him here, save Lucario. We can finish him off later with Lucario. Yeah, let's go for it. Let's just do top down. We're not gonna be able to get the HP buff, but who cares? We can always we can knock my Lucario, right? So works out perfectly fine in the end. And I don't think he plays buff padding, so here we go, top down. Can we get a bunch of heads? Bro, we got so many tails, dude. We got we flipped, I think we got two out of five coin flips, and three of them were tails. We got more tails than heads, bro. Yo, Staka, what are you doing? Let's see if he can knock me out here. He might have another Ganondorf, but he's so low on Pokemon. He's done a bunch of his Ultra Beasts, so we'll have to see. Whirlpool Suction, that's fine. Give him the Guru. And before he tool scrappers it. I think we still have Switch. Let's see what we got rid of. Yeah, we got two Switch left. We have a st Our last prize is Stone Energy, and that will be game. We're just going to retreat into the Guru, and we're going to take a dub with the Stack Attack deck here over my opponent's pretty cool Ultra Beast Steel Stack. All right, there we go. We finally get it. Hey, there we go. Oh, 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 four heads. Oh, 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 look at that. Now you get you get heads when I win the game. Thank you, Stack Attacka. I appreciate the love. All right, cool. Take that down. We actually get to buy a pack from the shop, too. I forgot about that. Buy an HSS base set. Trying to get some reverse hollows from the set. A lot of stuff I want. Here we go. What do we get? Let's see. Yo, Ima4 reverse hollow DC for one time. One time, bro, reverse hollow DC? What's it going to be? What's gonna be? I'm excited. I'm excited to see what this is. All right, calm. Meta pop, bruh. Rever Ooh, Slow King. That's a good pull, actually. Actually, Versal Slow King is a really good pull, actually, in this set. All right, guys. Looks like we hit a Dark deck here, which is pretty good. I forgot a turn it just actually existed. Kek W. Assume we're playing against turn. I'm actually gonna go first, so they whip that energy attachment. I think that is pretty relevant to do. Um, not a bad start, I guess. Yeah, that's okay. We get a great ball. Get us Lucario here, which I doubt it will. It's one out of. <laughs> like 40 cards something like that anyways let's see oh a lot of basics could be a hydreigon deck okay it's definitely definitely what's it what's his face got the Dene. definitely a thing oh they put wheezing but we can knock out coffee because they can't evolve it so it's like not too bad i'll get rid of the boss i think because i definitely want to knock out the wheezing so we can get access to our abilities no we prize lucario in the one matchup we needed, bro? <laughs> no, dude. That sucks. Rip. I think I just hold the hand. And then we try to beat them next turn. That's not going to be possible, though. Aw, oh, man. That sucks, bro. We prized the Lucario in the one matchup it's needed. <laughs> Looks like playing some kind of glaring wheezing deck, though. I don't even know if they're playing... What's-his-face? I don't even know if they're playing uh, Eternatus. They might be. I've been playing a lot of Glaring Weezing, so I, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. Um, I played Glaring Weezing to a uh, expanded single prize tournament yesterday. It was a lot of fun to play in. There was a lot of people playing Stall, which was kind of unfortunate, but there's still a lot of really cool decks being played. Like, it was really cool to see what single prize decks people would bring to an expanded tournament. I think the best decks were like Trevenant, Greninja, Zapdos. Uh, I played Glaring Weezing Spirit Tomb. Got 18th place, as you know. Okay, we'll put Eldegoss on top. We can also just put a switch on top of the deck. I guess we'll just ditch the Eldegoss. They're playing Weezing. Eldegoss is going to never be needed. Okay, Crobat. Can we get B? No, we got a Marnie. Great Ball. Guru again, bro. Okay, we're definitely going to go Marnie here. We're not going to bother with the B play. I'm going to go Marnie. We actually could just pass, too. They'll poison me. Let me go stack a next turn. Knock him out. I'm fine with that. Yeah, that's fine. We'll hold the hand. Plus, I don't really want to waste these switches. We're not going to be able to do Guru or Dedene or Eldegoss. Actually, Staka's ability is also shut off. <laughs> but it doesn't matter right now. 
Oh, they're gonna Marnie me. No, our switches. I didn't see that. I thought they would have a dead hand because I need to do a supporter. Rip. How we looking? Uh, I didn't get a switch out. Rip. Kinda maybe we should have put the we should put the switch on top. I didn't expect a Marnie though, so that sucks. I guess Guru's gonna have to die. Does actually Guru get knocked out going to our turn? It does get knocked out going back to their turn. Yikes. Oh, they play hammer, never mind. And they get heads, of course. Good old hammer. This should be a fine matchup though, as long as we don't get cucked. Good old hammer. You just get Jirachi here, which we're gonna have to do. We're not gonna use his ability, but we're gonna have to grab it and just gonna have to bring it in the active spot. Unfortunately, Guru's gonna get knocked out. No. As long as they don't get another hammerhead, we can do top down next turn. Once we get one top down off, we can knock them out, which is what we need. And maybe we can uh, get some good discards here. We'll see what happens with our top deck. The only problem is we don't play many supporters. Okay, they're gonna knock out my Jirachi. This is good. That's what I want them to do. As long as they don't have another crushing hammer. Alright, nice. So we can knock them out. We like to see. Stone energy is actually useless here because it's poison. All right, we can knock him out. Maybe mill. Yo, we can hit a coffin or two, or even just crushing hammer. Ooh, got the raw top deck. We can wait to play that. Okay, this is top down. See how many heads we get. Head one, one heads. Caitlyn, Cynthia, eh, not bad. And can we get Lucario? Energy's good, I guess. But we're gonna be able to dead any now, so it didn't matter if I got the energy or not. But yeah, stack attack. I can rain down some. The only problem is we actually don't get our ability in this matchup, so that's kind of bad. We don't get to use our Wall of Stone ability against the Weezing deck here. We're going to have to put a cape on and try to dodge the knockout. Um, We did get rid of two boss. We have to try to get Eldegoss. I actually think we do... We do Dead A change here. A Rod on top. That B. Rip. Nah, right, that's fine. We're going to have to Dead A change. I'm going to try to get a boss if I can. Uh, nope. Didn't get a Quick Ball. Uh, do we want to use Sir Fetch? I'm not actually sure I want to use Sir Fetch. I think I'm just going to Marnie them. And we get... We got the Eldegoss. We didn't get another basic, though, which is unfortunate. We can have to do next turn, though. Uh, I'll attach in case they hammer me, I guess. I'll just top down. I don't want to miss an attack with Stack Attacka, so... Here we go. Top down. Yo, one heads. Hey, we're getting heads. Focus Trap, of course. They do play that. Oh, good thing it's gone now. We had a switch anyway, so it's not a big deal, but... It's all Gucci. Okay, let's see what they decide to do here. Do they find the Weezing is the question. There's a hammer. There's a tail. Alright, cool. Petcher, uh-oh. Oh, what? They get heads? Guru, like... I mean, it's nice to have, but I guess if they get knocked out something in the world... Do they have the Weezing? We did Marnie them. Do they have a research? What do they got? Last card? No, not a research. Alright, look at that. We're gonna be able to knock them out again. We can switch. Still can't draw a basic. All right, well. I'm going to capture energy the Dedene for a stacka. I'm just going to knock him out. Oh, we can do Guru first. Put the money on top of the deck, right? So we get a B. Ooh, we got the boss. Uh, we could actually knock out the Toxicroak. Because then they can't poison and do 60 damage. Yeah, you know what? I actually like that. I actually like that. Because now that now their poison doesn't do 60, which means they can't... I don't get knocked out going back into their turn. So I actually think that's relevant. Ah, uh, Tails, bro, on top down. We need to get more than one heads this time. All right, they concede. We've got another dub with the deck. Who beans? All right, guys. Let's get into another match here. We are up against Iwina. We'll see what they're playing. Uh, we got to go first. Interesting. Ooh, lots of stuff. Uh, we'll start with the rank Guru, I think, so we can try to get a Balloon or a Switch, and then we can switch into these, because we might actually get a B here. I think I will be going for a Dedene this turn. Uh, Woobat. Ooh, they're playing some kind of spread deck. Yo, say it ain't so. Ooh, Lucario. They're resisting the fighting, aren't they? Yep. We can go Crobat. Sure. I don't even know if Dedene's in the deck. We can just go Crobat here, I think. Quick Ball for Jirachi. No, Dedene is in the deck. Alright, alright, alright. Cool. Dedene's there. I have, probably shouldn't bench too many Pokemon, though, obviously. They're playing a spread deck. But they have to have a zero card hand. There's a switch. Didn't get a B, though. F in the chat. B? Nope. Rip. I want to... Uh, I guess we can go into Lucario next turn. We do 20 damage, though. And we're weak to Psychic, so... Probably not a good idea to go Lucario. I think, honestly, we got to go all in with uh, Stack of this game. Want to get a B, though. I guess we can switch into Jirachi and then, like, play it slow, I guess. 
Oh, they play Crushing Hammer. Rip. Oh, they get Tails. I mean, we do have a ton of energy. We have, what, 18 energy with the Warning Rod? It's not that big of a deal. We'll see what kind of deck this is. Ooh, there's a Rowlet. This confirms it is going to be a spread deck. Definitely got to be a little careful with what I bench, though. Uh, but Stack is pretty good here, though. Honestly, they can actually activate Stack Attack's ability, which actually would be good. Stack is ability would be really good in this matchup because we get more HP to work with overall. Stack is weak to Grass, so hopefully they're not playing Decidueye. I don't think they are, though. I think it's just like a Bird Keeper Rowlet engine. I don't think they're playing Decidueye in the deck, which... Well, they could be playing the Tracking Shot one, which can one-shot me. Unless I get a Cape on it. But then if I already have damage on it, maybe it doesn't matter. They actually get a Crobat, which is a good boss target. There's a Bird Keeper... So they're going to get that Rowlet Snipe off here. Ooh, they got a Sight. They can hit my Crobat and set it up for a two-shot, which is pretty bad. Pretty interesting spread deck here. I've, I've gotten some... Oh, another Crushing Hammer. Why do you play Hammers, bro? <laughs> spread with Hammers. No, nah, no, not like this. I've actually gotten requests for the Swoobat deck. I'm not sure it's that good, though. Because, like, realistically, are you ever going to make a Woobat deck work? You have a zero-card hand. They actually, ooh, they hit Surfetch. I don't agree with that. They definitely should hit Crobat. They definitely should hit Crobat. All right. Okay, I'm gonna go Primate Wisdom first because we could rip a B off of this. Nope. Alright, we're going to draw him. Who's Marnie them? Yeah, I think Stack is gonna be the main attacker here. There's a cape. We could put cape on the Surfetch. We have 120 HP though. They can't two shot me with Rowlet. That's why they just should have hit the Crobat. There's the B. Uh, definitely take the cape in case they Marnie me. We could probably cape this guy and pass. Probably, maybe we should hold the cape, though. We should actually could just put on Crobat, too. It's not terrible. I doubt they play tool. I doubt they have room for hammers and then a tool scrapper. See, like, the problem with Wubat, I, I would like to do a video on this card, but, like, you have to have a zero-card hand, and, like, putting your hand down to zero feels super bad in this format. You'd have to do, like, some crazy Oranguru combo where you guru a supporter on top of your deck, then the cards you get, you have to be able to play. It's, like, it's so weak. But, okay, my opponent pulled it off. All right, rip. <laughs> My opponent actually pulled it off. Cool beans. Uh, alrighty then. We rip a switch. A bunch of stones. Stones actually really good in this matchup. We need to get a switch though. I don't want to Marty them, but now they get access to doing Wubat every turn. Hmm. We should have done B because we could have retreated. Yeah, I should have done that. All right. Fine, bro. We're gonna rip a. Uh, we're gonna rip a switch off of this. Watch. No, it's a stone. I forgot. It's a stone. I know what's on top of the deck. I gotta stop doing that. Uh, we could Marty them, actually, and then prevent them, but then they just go Bird Keeper. So then we can cape the Surfetch Marty so they don't go Bird Keeper. They have a Berserker, though. I don't know. Can we get the switch here? We do. Okay, so we can take the knockout. So you know what? It worked out in the end. It worked out. All right, how many head? Oh, stop getting tails top down, bro. You gotta stop getting tails, Stack Attacker. So we put the cape on, they bear cube. They have a five card hand. They can get rid of two cards. They have to figure out a way to put their hand down even lower. They've already played two quick ball or three quick balls. So it's very unlikely they can use quick ball. Quick ball is actually a pretty good card for this deck. So they can bird keeper. They can knock out my crowbat. Nope. They can hit the surfetch. Oh, they can knock out surfetch, right? No, we got one ten. That's why, yeah, the cape is definitely good to put there. And now we don't have the cape for later on, but 200 HP is still pretty good, especially for a deck that only does 30 damage to me. Bro, they play Team Yellhorn? No, dude. What? They got Team Yellhorn? That's even worse. Now we can't even... Oh, no. And they got a Hammerheads, too. This format, bro. I swear, this format is something else. <laughs> the Yellhorn out of... Now we're down two Switch. What? They have Yellhorn? That's actually so bad. That is actually so bad. Good thing this Rowlet can't hit my active. Magic could do 120 to me. We'd lose if they could attack me. Okay, another Yellhorn's gone. That's good to see. The less Yellhorn they have to work with, the better. They, I, how do they fit all these cards in the deck, though? Crushing Hammer, Yellhorn? I don't get it. Now we get knocked by Wubat. Ugh. I guess we're going to try to go for an attack here. Do we want to do B? Should we wait to do B? No, we'll do B. As long as we don't lose a switch. And we lose all of our switch when I say that. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what kind of luck is that? Oh my goodness. What kind of luck is that, dude? 
<laughs> oh my gosh. Top down. Hey, let's go. All right. Can we get even more heads here? Yep. One, two, three. Ooh, ooh. Oh, oh, oh. Can't be stopped, bro. Can't be stopped. Five card mill. Let's go. I don't even... Did we even get rid of anything relevant? I don't honestly don't think we did. We got rid of... Eh, eh, it's not bad, actually. The, not, eh, honestly, I don't know, actually. That that was not that great. I would have liked to have seen the Yellhorn and Hammer get discarded. Oh, my goodness. So, we have to try to build this guy up and then B to this. Oh, that sucks. We had to lose all of our Switch. I'm like, all right, hopefully we don't lose all of our Switch off this B. And then we lose all of our Switch. Now, they have a zero card hand, too. They get a knockout, finally, on my Sir Fetch. Hmm. So, they get two prizes of a three card hand. They're going to be able to keep looping Wu back. We have to get the Crobat ready to go, too, I think. We could do another B this turn. I don't want to bench Eldegoss, though. I don't know. Let's put Lucario on top, see what we get here. Marnie. Okay, we can Marnie them, then. Yep. We'll Marnie trust them down. Probably could have put the Cape on, but I'll save it. We can Marnie them. There we go. I got more energy. Cool bees. Didn't get any bees, though, but whatever. It is kind of scary, though, if Guru gets knocked out. All right, here we go. Top down. Can we get another heads? Yes, let's go. This is amazing. We're getting heads. Oh, we got... Oh, that's fine. I don't think I had it in confusion anyways. But we got four... We, what, we got four or five heads last turn. Ooh, bro, it's worth it, bro. Worth it. So we can build this guy. We can try to retreat this guy at some point. Crobat is going to be how we're going to win the game. We're going to take one more knockout, hopefully. And then we're going to boss the Crobat up and knock it out to win the game. Um, yeah. Curious to see what they're gonna bird keeper though. Uh, how many how many sites are they down? They're down three. They have one left. Can they bird keeper into a site on my crowbat? That'd be pretty bad because Jirachi and Guru are pretty heavily damaged. I mean, we could still very easily lose it. This is still a very losable game. Okay, they got a Marnie. That's all of our energy though. But then we can go B and then we can maybe B retreat though if we get lucky enough. That's four. That's the bottom of the deck though. We still have, well, we still have a decent amount of quicks and greats, so we can probably still shuffle the deck and put the energy to the, from the bottom. Yeah, they're gonna marnie me. So they're no no attack this turn probably unless they go insane combo Wuban. I they need a lot though to pull that off. Hopefully they don't play four yell horns. Oh, we didn't get the B though. Bro. Did they get the last crushing hammer? Or they can build up for wind shard normally. That's actually kind of busted. But they stay in the active. We get heads again. We can knock them out. We can Dedenne though and try to go B and retreat. That's actually good. Let's do that. Let's Dedenne and try to go B retreat. If we knock out the Crobat, this game should be about over. Very close, though. This Jirachi has 10 HP left. The Guru is two things away, so we could lose in just two more turns. So I think we have to try to go for the knockout on the Crobat, unless they switch. Wait, is that a full heal? Bro, full heal Yolhorn, dude? I, said, I didn't even know that was a combo that could be pulled off. That's actually kind of insane. It's kind of insane, bro. Okay, let's just burn these. Oh, we can Eldegoss. You do Eldegoss B. That guarantees it. Yeah, you know what? I think we just go Eldegoss B. We're going to be bench locked, though. Now, who cares? It works out in the end. We just need to hit one energy here. We shuffle the deck, so that's good. Let's play another quick ball, I guess. We have eight energy. We need one energy here to guarantee a knockout. What? No! No, dude! What? Dude, how does that fail? <laughs> <gasps> no stack attack oh no we have another chance next turn we got the ticket i'm gonna attach dude that's so bad dude now i have to rely on a coin flip again oh let's go come on okay you know what who cares we got heads anyways oh no Ooh. ooh. okay Ooh. that was a huge discard and there's boss. All right. So we should win next turn. Um, I don't think they can knock out Guru and Jirachi in the same turn. Uh, yeah, it should be game over. And everything else on the bench can retreat and or attack. So they can't do boss anyways. Kabu. Yo, Kabu. Kabu Wubat. That's actually another really cool combo. I like that too. Kabu Wubat actually works too. Only way they can stop me here is if they play Crushing Hammer and they get heads. Um, well, let's we see a wind shard. That was a very... I like this guy's deck. You know what? I like the, I like the idea. I think Berserker... Or Duskull might be the way to make Wubat work. I think you still... Yeah, you definitely need to play like a Guru combo with like a supporter. And try to like make it work. I, I like it. You know what? Maybe I gotta do a Wubat video. This guy, maybe he cracked the code on how to play Wubat. I don't think you need the Yell Horns though. Uh, but I, I like it. I like it. You know what? Cool deck. I like it. So we just need to get an energy here. We win the game. We're drawing to Dene. So we can just Dede change and probably draw it. We have Dede change and B. There's like super... There's like a very low chance we whiff. Yeah. 
But there's all the energy we could have got. Holy, is six energy, bro? Yo, chill. All right, we'll give him the well-played. GG's to my opponent here. Really unique deck. I like it. Aw, he didn't let me top down. All right, I'm going to wrap the video, guys, with this deck, attack, attack. I think I did a good job showing off the deck. We got to play against two pretty unique decks, which is kind of cool. I always like that. You know, it's better than playing against ADP because can this deck beat ADP realistically? Probably not. Can it beat Luke Metal? Nope. Can it beat Pika? Probably. Can it beat Eternatus? Maybe. Can it beat ADP? No. So, you know what? I'd rather play against cool, unique decks. And I, you know what? You guys, you guys get to see more unique stuff in a video. You know, it makes sense, right? Instead of playing against the same old boring ADP every video. Um, but anyways, that'll wrap up today's video on the B Stack Attack deck. A lot of fun to play this deck. If only Staka did more damage. If Dionysi didn't rotate, this deck would actually be really good, in my opinion. Well, not really good, but it'd be a lot better. Because that 20 damage is so good, but... Yeah, the damage output is a little bit bad. Honestly, I'd probably want to play another Cape. Maybe even play another Lucario. Uh, other than that, yeah, this deck was a lot of fun to play. I think we did a good job showing off the deck in the video today. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you're new to the channel. Help me on the road to reaching uh, 13,000 subs. We're very close, guys. We're less than 100 subs away from 13,000 subs. So if you guys want to sub down below, make sure to do so. Thanks for watching. Check out Carcaver down below. Check out my Twitter. Help me reach 1,000 followers. I'll see you guys later. Bye-bye.